Hey there, I am JB and we are here with some more of this wonderful city skylines. I mean, look at that. Isn't that just fantastic? <laughs> the game is getting worse and worse over time. But you know, from distance, things seem to roll well. And I just seen we have snow on the mountain. I like that a lot. I was just enjoying this view, you know. I mean, that's kind of cool though, right? Okay, so in this episode for today, we are going to do some changes in the industrial. Alright, so the last time we have been creating this area down here, and I'm pretty happy with it. I think this looks very nice though. It is The water is absolutely beautiful. And the water also seems to flow a little bit right down here, which, you know, I like a lot. Now, this road here... And this road here is something that I do not like. It, it looks weird, it looks ugly, it looks out of place. And that's why I have been thinking, what if we would change this road a little bit like this, and then continue into that. And or we're going to move this garbage facility right down here. I think it's also a good idea. And we might need to change this just a little bit. I want to keep these facilities in the middle of... You know, or better to say close by these roads so they have like access to the industry and they have like access to the city. I think that is a good idea. And of course, later on, we're going to unlock some tiles and make like another road going this way, right? And now I'm looking at it. I think it would be nice if this road here is going to split up toward what the bridge and, you know, keep this what it is right down here. I kind of like that idea of going that way. And we're going to keep in mind, at some point we're going to make our um, train harbor type of deal right down there too. And then there is enough spot right down here to actually implement all of our industry close by this, towards the city and towards the highway. I think it would be a nice addition. <laughs> Alright, the first thing, that I, I don't know why I need to laugh. The first thing that I am going to figure out is where to exactly place this new garbage facility because we are also going to keep in mind that at some point we can have like this one a recycle center this collects a sort of garbage and can be upgraded and whatnot and the stuff that it will be recycled can be resold so that makes some more income for the city which is going to be very nice we have plenty of space down here i see but just take this straight piece right down here and let's just go like that and then we can just check out if this is fine yeah this seems to work out i'm just looking at the bridge on the left side trying to catch up as much space as possible uh, without disconnecting i think i think this will be perfect right which i shouldn't be placing this guy here but i forget that i actually wanted to do this so now i know perfectly where to place this guy and then we can take this guy replace it right around here and this might not be ideal uh, the reason being is you come into this industry area and the first thing you see is people the crap okay this is going to be a little bit of trying to figure this out you know you don't want to come into someone's front yard and the first thing you see is like all the garbage at our house actually the case well we don't have garbage in the in the yard but we have our uh, containers and whatnot in the front yard a lot of people have them in the backyard but all right so there has been an update yesterday which they trying to fix more of the issues with stuff but i have the idea things have gone a little bit worse because look at how it is tripping monkey so what i might be doing is just once again just reset my graphics maybe that is what is needed I wish there was like a reset button, like a complete reset instead of, you know, only doing something on this for everything that is below because you also have some stuff here. I know depth of field mode is actually, you know, making things look like this. So when you look at stuff, you have like funny pictures, you know, but still. Okay, like I was saying, maybe this will fix it. I'm not going to change anything else. Okay, for now i'm just going to keep the clouds and weather on maybe you know give a, a bit of a different look onto the game ah, it is still doing funky though so back to the same look i just you know hope at some point it, but they will just fix this game i mean you know there, there is nothing wrong with city skylines one but once you are just very much used to the whole you know new voting system this whole idea of um you know the new uh what is that called the area stuff what i'm doing right now 
Uh, it's just so nice. And I'm sure if I go back to see the Skylands 1, then I'm going to miss this stuff. I guess there is still a lot of discussion going on and things that shouldn't be happening and whatnot. But whew, I just want to give it a chance. You know, I know there are things wrong. Um, I just like this game. You know, I just want it better. And I just don't want to right away throw it into the trash to say. I mean, Cyberpunk was bad at the start for, you know, most people. I did play it. I did see a little bit of funky stuff. And the only reason why I stopped at some point is because people... I don't really have the idea people were liking the series in general. And we had some talking about my other channel, of course. I did. I do so much different stuff on that channel, which then I can understand that I'm not building up a steady audience, say. That's why I started this building channel, because I want to do building stuff and don't do any action shooters between in, right? That makes some sense. Okay, so that is done. Now, what I'm going to need to do actually is slash is... Like, if we continue this road right down here, we're not really going to cross it with that road, right? It would be ideal if we get this into a pointy shape with this road. But that's not gonna happen. And we need to think of making the industrial a little bit square is here and there so it will look nice everything connects up perfectly i mean this stuff is also nice you know having like corners and bendy shapes and whatnot if you are fitting in this kind of industry what i'm thinking about the tv is just continue this road forwards right the only thing i'm going to keep in mind here is to keep it straight so that's why i lower it the uh, the amount of adjustment for ascent descent type of deal so now it's minus two minus one and then plus two minus two let's see if i can move this let's turn this gout line off uh, and or this guy because it's interacting with that stuff let's see if i can get this small as possible so minus two plus four maybe a little further ahead and then just raise it yeah, minus zero one. Do you think, right? Now, I'm not going to leave it like that. Maybe, well, oh God. Maybe we actually can do it like that. Maybe, right? Maybe it makes some sense. Now, what if I'm just going to put it back on ground level here? I'm just looking at the numbers. Now we are at ground level. Now it would be handy to have this Galden's line back on. Hello? Oh, <laughs> yeah. So how about, right? Minus which is a bit odd why is it minus three oh anyway let's just place it right i mean this doesn't look too bad right there is a lot of uh going downhill for the water to do just flow underneath the road into the river which is very nice and we don't have to especially fill in the whole bl uh, blank right down here what now might be handy is to continue this road up to this guy right and this will be then gone yeah, okay, it is straight. Yeah, I think this is nice. Having like a nice main road that goes here to whatever. And there is this. We can carefully connect this up this way too. And like I said, carefully because maybe I'm not going to upgrade this road later on into a big, wider, fatter road. Because a lot of people also want to go to the city. Unless this game is being smart that going to the highway like this would be faster maybe later on it will be in highway connection here towards the city so you just have to see is this faster you know save up time or will people go here and spend more time right that is the whole thing that i'm basically wondering all right and then we got this road fixed up too i really like this swirly road going you know downhill like that i think it looks very good and yeah let's just see what we can do with this now i have spoken about a a prison maybe to add on an island but then i was like yeah let's place it down here I'm not sure why i bring this up again i guess <laughs> i guess i just have some bad brains from now and then okay let's also just add in a couple of this and that i think that would fix that up very good so we're going to you know see some more people moving in and i have also connected this road down here 
and down here between these two neighborhoods let's also have it like that and i've been watching to a couple more youtubers playing this game and i just realized you know i, I i'm going to grid stuff up a little more and they gave me a bit more idea of what i need to do like this here is just wrong it shouldn't be like that it should just be more grid up all right so now that is done but just uh let you start thinking about moving the industrial area up right now the one thing i got like this smaller roundabout and roundabouts apparently are very good on roads that are mostly like main type of deals like this is going to be a main road that way this might be a main road going that way probably there will be a later on a road behind here but on these main roads what is going to be very important and last time i thought i was running out of points we're going to unlock a roundabout and slowly but surely going yeah i cannot do this i'm also going to, need to unlock this whatever and then i ran out of points for that uh, sooner or later last episode we had a tornado so we're going to need to you know be very careful with unlocking some more stuff we also have sport park which is also going to be fun now i think my city really needs to start growing a little bit more in order to add some more of this crazy stuff and we have some more wider roads which is just large roads this might be the stuff that we're going to need eventually for this area but for now we can just use these guys and on this point here i want to have a big fat roundabout <laughs> it's only a shame though like like i've been saying before it's the shadow stuff and yeah i hope they're gonna fix it because i know why this shadow stuff is happening and it has all kinds of things to do with the training because once you go deep enough it actually reveals you what happens with the terrain on the side walls and basically everything that comes through these walls gets invisible the only thing that i think they forgot to do is to add in uh, hide the shadows from the ground that comes through the wall like that see the, sh the shadow is still here so which in this case i think is happening with these roundabouts too with with this is that the ground is still going through then gets invisible and then yeah you get the deal here so i hope oh god <laughs> i hope eventually it will be fixed too so in this case we can start moving stuff now i'm just going to do something that i have been doing before and that is just like we can have some larger buildings it is definitely okay have some larger buildings have some smaller buildings and then before things getting out of hand i'm just going to also delete some of these and some of those but these folks are going to need to be moved up elsewhere anyways so it's okay uh, then our demand will go up and then what i'm going to do since i have a couple of smaller ones it will actually uh, stop making ginormous one might be a spot for one ginormous one i can basically do this and then let the game decide for itself now i do have a little bit of a problem here but maybe if i just do that it will just you know fill in itself and on this way we got just many little different type of deals going on which i like a lot i also need to keep in mind place back those sand pits because who these people don't like it if you remove them and this seems to cover up a large area uh, you know what here i know why i want to place it here well maybe here make up your mind the thing is we're going to change this into another one of these one we're going to make it look nice we're going to have like this road continue make the same kind of idea um no roundabouts in there because that is not necessary you know i i really like these kind of buildings too it's like just a storage area where stuff is getting stored which later out will be sent to other spots I mean, it makes a lot of sense, right? This thing is even empty. You know, I, I, I like that. It makes so much sense. And yes, having a thing like this is not always too bad. I mean, if I need to change this, I'm going to need to, you know, cut this building in half, make this one ginormous. I guess having a little change, you know. I, 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 I like that. But you know, right away, I love this industry a lot more than what i had before 
I think I'm not going to fill in the outside just yet. I'm just going to leave it with the inside stuff. Now, I'm also thinking, which is not a good idea. Uh, how about, right? How about, yeah, I'm just trying to look at the spacing that I have left in order to fill in some more garbage. I'm like, what if I make the, will you guys calm down for a second? Stuff right down here. And the recycle center and whatnot. So I can just space this out if need. I think that might be a little bit more of a smarter idea. Eventually I can just brush it this way I'll guess. And have like a pizza pie point with trees or whatever. But in this case it is time to change this area out a little bit. I'm going to think of the future like oh I'm going to, need to have more power facilities right. Oh god I'm not looking well. <laughs> Looking forward might be a little bit too, too big of a deal. I just need to move some stuff which cost me some money. Moving this guy here will cost 22,000 bucks. Move this guy here will cost 60,000 bucks. You know, things like that. How is it that moving a crematorium is 60,000 and moving a power plant costs 25,000? You know, there are things I, I don't think I will ever understand. Okay, also in this case, we're also going to need to move uh, this bad boy up, which might not be too much of a problem because we connect up pretty close to, you know, the city green area, which will be right down here. So then this area here might not be too bad of a thing, uh, since we're also going to make like a pizza pie. So how about, I'm not looking forward to too much greenery on the scenery so how about like that right this will be ideal and then no and then we could just get this guy yeah play uh, okay place it like that without destroying the key wall okay very good now the one thing though is this is a main route am i going to round about this up i might need to do that right and I don't want to go, well, maybe we should go for a massive one. But here, ooh, we're going to, to change some stuff. You know, I'll, I'll guess this is okay. Kind of slash is. I mean, there is some rubble near it. But you need to keep in mind this uphill thing type of deal. It's maybe can tighten it up a little bit more. Yeah, I guess that is okay. And this one I can also move a little bit. I... Not too much though. You know what? It it worked out. This is this is perfect. This is absolutely what I want. So the first thing you see coming into the industrial area is a lot of horse apples. Now honestly, I wish I knew how big this recycle center it actually is in order to know how much space I'm going to need to save up. But what I just can do is just implement this stuff right in here for right now. Yes, it's going to cost me another of money and i think this guy would still be ideal to have it like here i mean wouldn't it be nice to sit in your living room this looks like the house robbers would live in like the kind of colors and then you just sit here being the psychopath he is <laughs> and he's just looking out onto a building like that right for the ones who don't know robbers you need to look it up on youtube uh, for the ones who does know him why am I thinking it looks like in this kind of house? Because it looks like something but that would be in, in Norway or Sweden or Denmark. You know, that type of era with these colorful buildings. I really like these buildings though. Green is my favorite. I wouldn't mind to live in here if it was 100% sound proof, okay? I don't want to hear my neighbors. Then I'm going to get nuts. I hate other people, so just leave me alone. Okay, so in this case, let's just connect this. Hate is a big word, right? Just hate, hate noise. Hate to get bothered. I do not want to be bothered. Okay, I'm just going to reconnect this uh, thing up because even though it seemed like it was perfect for whatever lucky reason it was, I just want to be sure. All right, so I'm just leaving this as it is. Later on, once we got the recycle center, I can see how big it is. And I would like to fit things in here like i want to cram it up i want to see the uh extensions like how big is it i better say expansions there we go 
and stuff like that right beautiful the industry is popping back up and this down here so the thing is the, uh, the lower the demand the smaller the buildings will pop up so i might just need to step back for a second and just w wait with filling in this area and think take care it's not in the water you know that's a little bit uh cringy though yeah, that is better right perfect perfect and also have a a larger unit somewhere right around here in the middle and also connect it up like that wonderful we're going to add in a little bit of a shopping industry here well yes sounds confusing um yeah just some shopping yeah, this time i want to add in a parking lot in the middle i want to add some park this is for the people who are done working and they need some uh, access to quick supermarket to say so yeah let's add this one there this one there right and have some parks in the middle relaxing in the shades let's add this right down there and no sand pit dog park not really so yeah i guess we have to add in two of these now the thing is i can unlock a lot more stuff but not for now not today and that tree is massive let's add some a bird's tree bird's tree is the ideal city tree i guess besides oak yeah that's fantastic all right cool 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 now let's add in some and let's just do the same as before we're gonna do this and we're going to do that you know etc now it's going to go real quick so have to be careful with filling in this area down here right i'm not sure people from town can go also here but this is going to be a, a, a real messy deal down here and i'm not sure how they will respond to the industry area though uh yeah this is now gonna go straight that way so this slowly but surely will be gone because a lot of this stuff is also from this and things that happened over the last couple of episodes or industry gonna go down or commercials gonna go down yeah we're getting there something came in my mind what we can do um so basically basically well basically at least in this area we could have houses right and we could just connect it up with this road have like a t-split and then but just not end then but just do it you know yeah, could i yeah well mm -hmm, i can i can what 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 is wrong you know doesn't make any sense brah i i can anyone for the love of god explain me why this stuff is happening i mean this is perfect that is perfect and then all of a sudden you know there's like uh, some bullshit going on i just don't i don't i do not you see i just nope <laughs> you know what beautiful absolutely fantastic <laughs> this motherfucker is getting cray cray and so we have milestone number six we have a boom town oh i almost went boom ah, things are coming together i i'm i'm happy that we now you know got a little bit use of this spot right down the end carefully wait with that it makes a lot of sense and uh, because we have the new milestone lock we now have cotton uh, Katon is going to be placed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we should not forget this area, uh, including a little bit of that, I guess. Ooh, oh, and that. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to have a very nice specialized industry episode sooner or later, uh, which we can also unlock some more fun stuff. Uh, which in this case, yeah, I, I really want to go for that, this, and this, and that which in this case is six out of eight maybe take two off so what i might need to do for now is do this so we can fill in the blank down here we can connect these roads up beautiful and i got a achievement well not completed but it is getting there which is called explorer 
probably because I'm unlocking these tiles. It is gonna go down pretty much right down here. That's because the train bridge also starts there. Now, if I'm going to need to plop this up here, it's going to be a whole thing like until this. That's not what I want. What I do want to do is plop this here and see if I can at least at this angle here to see if I can get it to zero. Plus one, no, that's fine. Plus one, plus two, no. 1.2 plus three, no. I want to have it perfectly zero, which... Okay, this is the best you can get, all right? Zero is never an option. Yeah, I'll guess this road is uh, pretty straight. Uh, so now we're going to take care that the wood can be brought to the industry ASAP. And what I would also like to do is just give it a little bit of softener, you know? You know, I think for now this, this will just work to keep the water off from flowing into the industry. Perfect, zero, right? And then we could just have like an offspring this way. You know, all of a sudden I'm thinking about it. This is not really a main mode anymore. So I'm just going to increase the size of the roundabout because the main road is basically this down here, this long one down here. Maybe a tiny bit this way and then go that way and slightly maybe is this way. I mean, I know for sure that most people are going to go this way towards the whole shebang that's going to be here. They're not really going to go like this and then like that. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we have reshaped our industry. I am very happy with the end result. Sure, some things left and right need to be filled in. I have also in mind that I don't want to fill anything in between in here. I want to keep like a little line of nothing in the industry and whatever will come here. And at least here, I am going to add in some more of these commercial zone right down here. And then I think it is okay for that. Right down here, ooh, it's going to be a very busy area. Uh, this down here will mainly be forest. And I just have to see what I'm going to do ending up here. In one of the other episodes, where we're going to add in a train track. We're going to need to have to unlock a lot more stuff. I am very happy with the progress of having another road, which is being used right now. So that is also very good, unless this person goes right down here. Um, but at some point, we're also going to go this way. You know, which will probably be a thing in the next episode. Because in the next episode, we are going to give our specialized industry a boost. We're going to, to add some stuff here. We're going to, to add some stuff there. We're going to, to add some stuff on this side. And or I want to see if I can unlock some more tiles. And I should not forget, I've also been filling in another piece of neighborhood right down here. I really like how this kind of turns out with a couple of houses, a couple of like play fields, which... Maybe I should leave out some trees in the middle though. But what I wanted to say, what are you guys doing? I guess, oh, we're going to get traffic problems. Ah, finally, I love it. I wanted to say, I especially love this one. You just come into the town like that. And then they have these heads at the side here. I think it's, it's, it's very lovely. Yeah, traffic. There are rush hours though, so I'm going to need to keep that in mind. And I hope someday it's going to be an absolute mess, and which will give us the opportunity to start solving this mess because I think that is one of most fun thing of City Skyline. Not sure where I want to go with this space view, but yeah, we had a slow start, but it's finally getting somewhere right now. Very happy with that, and ooh, that's a lot of traffic down here. Oh man, I think I love this view the most though.